These basic requirements, again, you have all heard them, but let us take a refresher course at this time, and it is basically as follows. It really is, in your terms, quite a moot point to discuss any specificity about the idea of how to cure this, how to get rid of that, how to clear this and that up, unless and until each and every one is fully utilizing these simple principles in their life. And number one would simply be this. Oxygen. Many of you do not necessarily allow yourselves to get the full requirement of oxygen in your systems, especially, no offense, in the way that your atmosphere happens to be at this time in terms of the fact that it is loaded with pollutants. The idea, of course, is the oxygenation of the system is the primary fundamental key that allows all of your cells the capacity to build themselves in the way that they need to be built. Oxygenation of the system is the fundamental element to begin with and can to some degree be enhanced to the best of your ability by making at least an attempt to find some relatively clean environment and or at least oxygenation of the system through the idea of deep breathing exercises, some kind of yogic practice, or at least some kind of restful meditation wherein there are deep regular breaths, or at least the idea of relaxation so that you are not, uh, in that sense, panic breathing, which is short breaths, do not allow the idea for oxygenation of the system to fully occur. Number one, then oxygen, oxygenation of the system. Number two, hydration of the system. Do you have enough water? You are, as physiological beings, mostly water, yet many of you will ingest many things that will actually divest you of the hydration of your system, dehydrate you. And as many of you are beginning to understand, many of the so-called symptomologies that you might begin to attribute to many exotic diseases are actually nothing more than the symptoms of dehydration. In the sense, then, that your body is similar, in a sense, by analogy to a battery. If you do not have proper hydration, not enough water, then your cells, in that sense, can burn out, short out. You can become, in that sense, dry like a battery and cease to function, cease to become electrically conductive. And in that sense, also, lack of hydration, lack of water in the system will not allow your cellular structure to flush the toxins in your system from the system, and this can cause many forms of buildup that will allow the immunological system and many cellular and enzymatic functions to cease, thus again causing many different kinds of symptomologies that can then open the door and lead the way to opportunistic organisms to bring about more and more complete forms of disease. So, the second idea is hydration of the system. Each and every one of you must find that it will be generally acceptable to have between one and two quarts of water a day. Otherwise, you will find you may not really readily have enough. Now, of course, every single individual is different, but you must understand something very important. When you are actually thirsty, that is your body's final signal that you do not have enough water. If you had proper hydration, you would rarely ever be thirsty. So use that as a marker. Number three, you have heard of this, of course, many times, and again, it is of paramount importance and is not to be taken lightly. Exercise, movement. Movement is like the ability to pump the body, to allow the muscles to function as pumps for the cellular structures, to allow the water to flush the toxins from the system, to allow there to be energetic revitalization and allow there to be strengthening of the muscular and skeletal structures, to utilize all of the different mineralogical elements that are going into the body and to allow them to act as building blocks uh, nutritionally. Exercise and movement also in that sense will be representative of being active, of being energetic, of flowing energy through rather than allowing it to sit around and build up and convert itself into mass in that sense, what you would call waiting to move. In that sense, in your language, then the analogy of simply putting on weight because you are waiting to do something. The idea then is to understand that oxygen and hydration and movement are critical. Also then, very important, Number four, the reduction of stress in the system. Again, many of the so-called symptoms that many of you attribute to the beginnings of disease are simply nothing more than the side effects of undue stress in your lives. We would highly and strongly 
recommend that you find any way, shape, and form to reduce the stress in your lives. And if that means letting go of those things, such as uh, work situations and so forth, that you know in your heart of hearts do not serve you, I would recommend that you do so. Or at least use your imagination to find a way to convert that situation into something more exciting, more enjoyable, more relaxing for you. Reduction of stress is of paramount importance in your society. Number five, the actual attempt at elimination of whatever toxins may already be in the system, removal of the toxins from the environment you are in, removal of the toxins, cleansing of the system for the buildup of toxins that may already be in the body is also of critical importance, and there are many different kinds of cleansing rituals that one can take advantage of to allow the system of the body to be cleansed out from the buildup that may have occurred over time and to allow yourself to remove from the body many different kinds of heavy metal poisonings and to allow yourself to pay attention to what it is you put in your body in terms of the pesticides and the heavy metal toxicity that may exist side by side with many of your foodstuffs. So removal of the toxins from the system is also of paramount importance. Number six, the idea also of lightening up your diet in many ways, especially in that in your society you have many different kinds of hormone imbalances and toxic substances that have been injected and added to many of your foodstuff. Lightening up your diet will at the very least assist your body by the ingestion of more and more foodstuffs that contain higher amounts of water, such again as the vegetable foodstuffs in that sense that are mostly water, just like your body, and eaten in raw, fresh state, as organic as possible, will also be of great assistance in lightening up your energy and allowing for cleansing of the system. Some small amounts for certain individuals, again, where necessary, of protein, perhaps even in meat form, is acceptable from time to time, but we would suggest that you do not overdo it, especially in the day and age on your planet, where you will find that many of the protein meat substances on your planet, as we have said, are heavily laden with all sorts of toxins. Be very cautious about that idea. And also understand that as you do accelerate your energy, as you do accelerate your systems, it will be less often that you will need such support and you will find yourself being highly energized by less and less and less. And the more natural your food is, in that sense, the more capable it is of giving you, of delivering the nutrients that you need and energizing the system so that you actually need less food. So you will find that these things will work hand in hand, that as you clarify your system, give it oxygen, give it water, reduce the stress, so on and so forth, your body will be, A, more receptive to the nutrients that are there in your natural foods, and as you then feed it more naturally, you will find that you will be energized and require far less. So these ideas are simply the foundation of health. And if you will allow yourself to recognize that these are very simple things that can be added to your life, you will understand that in, shall we just say, for analogy's sake, 99.9999999999% of the cases, these six ideas alone will eliminate almost any chance you will ever have of contracting any kind of disease in your life at all. So when you talk about the idea of how do we cure cancers, how do we cure AIDS, how do we cure this, how do we cure that, that's how you do it. By changing the lifestyle in that way and making sure your body has the foundational things it needs so that you will simply never get these things because the body in and of itself has the natural intelligence to never bring about these kinds of diseases if you simply supply it with the immediate natural fuels that it needs, which are oxygen and water and lack of stress and likeness of food in that sense. Plain and simple, that's really all it will take for most of the things and most of the ailments you find that exist upon your planet.